Before we continue, you should speak to Raminus Polus about your advancement within the guild. Ooh, let's advance one more time, uh, boys. Goodbye. Where's Raminus? What time is it? It's probably so late. Oh, it's 7 a.m.? He should be here. Get the work, boy. Raminus. I is. hope I can help. Yes, you can. Advance me. Your role within the guild becomes ever more essential. You have now attained the rank of Warlock and are freely able to access the Council Chamber. Ooh, there we go. Council Chamber, boys. Your tasks now come directly from Archmage Traven. Please speak with him if you're unsure what you should be doing. Okay, we're just going May through Traven now. I interest you in some of my fine wares? Um, maybe. Eh, maybe not. I'm not that good. I'm not All that right. good at magic, you know. Um, Traven. There is an urgent matter which requires your personal attention. This task falls to you and only you. Um, Are okay. you prepared to begin? Yes. Why does he always have to Count ask? Count Hasseldor of Skingrad has contacted the council. He claims to have information that is vital to us. He has requested that you personally travel to Skingrad to obtain this information. I cannot stress how important it is that our relationship with Hasseldor be preserved. I expect you to visit him immediately. I am unsure as to why he has requested that you, of all people, should be the one to visit him. Because I'm trustworthy. I have no wish to put you in harm's way. Count Hasseldor awaits your arrival. He likes me, right? Hey. He's like, you know, this guy's new. He's not like those bastards over there. Um, skin reds this way. Those arseholes over at the Mages Guild, you know? Those bastards. Always trying to kill me, and you know, they're trying to undercut me and spy on me, and... I mean, they, I guess they aren't trying to kill him, but... It's you. Hi. It's and you. <laughs> it's you. That's the most impersonal thing I've ever heard. It's you. Ha! I could use a shield Wait, who do as I well talk to? Do I, what? I charge people for training Why do I talk too? to her? You are here to see the oh. Count, yes? He has been expecting you. Please, wait here. I shall inform him of your arrival. What is it now? We want shum. Shum grow your rog. Can I just follow? I feel I'm gonna follow. Because this is definitely gonna take way too long. Leave me alone. Okay, jeez. Hello? Who's this? I'm listening. Vanderallen Trebadius. The hell? How long do I wait? Let's wait an hour. <laughs> that, that should be quick enough, right? Oh, here we go. Speak, snowman, and stop wasting my time. The Count is on his way. Please remain here and be patient. Okay. Should the Count not be coming out of that door, or...? Maybe not? <laughs> I don't know. What am I waiting for? Yeah. Looks like you're handy with a blade. Yes, ma'am. What is my blade? My personality's so low, jeez. 
strength 103 jeez blade 82 i'm an expert i want to get all this stuff up like restoration what am i, I waiting for Glather is acting even stranger than usual. I is, think? that sounds like the count. No that's got to be the count, right? Yeah, that's the count. Janice. Welcome, Guild Mage. God damn it! We meet again, although in different circumstances. I fear this time you may find the results no more to your liking than the last. Less so, perhaps. The information I have for your guild will not be met with smiles and handshakes. I fear. What's the info? I have called you here because, from our previous encounter, I believe you can be trusted. Consider the implications of that, as you handle a small matter for me. Surprised? Nothing is for free, mage. There is a small nuisance I would have you deal with before I tell you what I know. One good turn deserves another, after all. I mean, sure. And miss the opportunity? To take advantage of your help? Wow. I think not. I assure you, the information I have will be worth your time. It is a minor situation to be sure, but neither I nor my guards can become directly involved. A nest of vampires has sprung up in Blood Crust Cavern, southeast of the town. They are a threat to the town and must be eliminated. What? Their presence has drawn a group of vampire hunters to town, following rumors of vampires in Skingrad. While I do not believe my identity has been compromised, I do not wish to take any chances, and so cannot act on either matter. You, however, can act with impunity, and so will take care of this for me. Then, I will tell you what I know. Okay. What do you wish to know about it? Uh, where is the, the cavern? The cavern is a short distance east of the castle, far enough from town that few residents have reason to pass by it, thankfully. Okay. I assure you, I am not responsible for them. I would never be so careless. Where there are mindless animals, predators are never far behind. This is not the first time such a thing has happened, however. On some level, they're aware of my presence. Whether they covet all that I have, or simply wish to see it destroyed, I do not know. They have given in to their instincts, and are little more than animals. They need to be exterminated, one way or another. Very well. A troublesome lot. I expect you to deal with them. Kill them. Run them out of town. Do what you will. I simply Jesus. want them gone. <laughs> what? Of course. This guy's brutal. Be murdering them in the streets, the guards will respond accordingly. I cannot arouse further suspicion by offering leniency to you, should you find yourself on the wrong side of the law. This I cannot say. I have refrained from expressing too much interest, lest their attention be turned towards the castle. The citizens will likely know more. I imagine many have noticed their presence here. Okay. There are at least three of them. I know only one by name, a wood elf, called Eridor. He's rather good from what I understand. I could handle them myself, but it would be unwise to display my prowess in public. That is the folly of the young and proud. Of course, should you be called... Oh, jeez. Okay. 
What? No, I no, I didn't say anything. I shall await your return. I didn't say anything, sir. Okay, so I don't like fighting vampires because you can contract that disease, and that disease is so annoying. And the cure for it is really, really annoying. So, I think I'm going to go and try and find the um, vampire hunters in town. Hopefully, they can do work versus these guys. If not, well, too bad, I guess. Uh... What is this pointing me towards? The hell? Who am I going to? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, oh no. Not another one. <laughs> Look at this guy's <clears throat> face. Citizen of Skingrad, please be advised that I am here on official business and wish no harm. Oh, forget it. Let me guess. You're worried about what my men and I are doing here in town, right? Um... You have my assurance that my men and I will do everything in our power to keep the people of Skingrad safe. We're here to help. If you have seen anything unusual, particularly anything implying the presence of the undead here in town, please report it at once. I have information. All I care about is where the vampires are hiding. I know they're here somewhere. You know where they're holed up? Why, yes. Is that so? Well, perhaps we'll have to pay them a little visit. Thanks for the tip, friend. So now what? So, do I just wait, I guess, and hopefully they kill them? I feel like that's what I do. Let's wait. Let's wait a couple hours. Did they kill them? I don't know. Come on, Shadow Mirror. Yes. Maybe I just wait for them to take this out, I don't know. That seems most likely. Or maybe they all died? I don't know. <laughs> That's a possibility, you know. Okay, let's try let's wait a full day and see what happens Maybe? Nope. Huh. 
I guess they didn't kill him. Crap. I waited a full day. I felt like... I'm con I hear them. I hear people like fighting in here. Oh, they are fighting. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's dudes fighting in here. Let's wait again. Did they kill them? What's going on? <laughs> they moved. Oh. oh this vampire down. Oh. The vampire hunters died. Ah, crap, I'm over encumbered. So now what? Huh, <laughs> it just says they died. Um, I must have some crap that I don't need. Almost guarantee it. What do you drop? I don't... How do I not know how to do this? <laughs> how the hell do you do this? Also, why am I not wearing gauntlets? Oh, I am. I... I... How the frick... How do you drop? <laughs> how can I not figure this out? R? Q. D... No. E. Q. D... R... D. <laughs> how do you drop? You know what, let's just switch. <laughs> let's, let's drop it on this guy. God, I have a lot of stuff. So many potions too, jeez. God, there's so many dead guys. Oh, there's Eridor. Rip. Vontus. So is everyone dead in here? I can't quite tell. How would everyone have died? That seems a little far-fetched to me. Oh jeez, I hear... Oh. Ah. oh! This guy's a beast! Look at his armor! He's got my armor. Oh no, wow, I... Okay, I spoke a little soon there. What's that? Oh, we're not going in sneaky like. Oh! Let him know my task is complete. Perfect. Count Hasseldor will be pleased. Uh, 
now just to find the way out. Oh, right there. Boyfect, boyfect. Happy the vampire hunters could help. Not much. Well, actually, yeah, they did most of the heavy lifting. I won't lie. So tires. Oh, Janus. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Janus. Janus Hasseldor. Oh, no. You have completed your task. Why do for I the have count. to wait? Have you not? Time. Then, please, wait here while I inform him. God damn it. I will literally wait. Afternoon. I've been standing in the same spot for 24 goddamn hours. Janus. You've got some nimble fingers. What have you been getting into? Lady, don't talk about my nimble fingers. Ugh. Where is Janus? Oh, I hear him again. No, never mind. That's the orc. Janus. Janice. At least I think it was her. Where are you? I oh, there he is. Just so the work chasing is me complete. now. Now we can discuss the information I have for you. Okay, let's check out this information. Your guild does not fully appreciate the danger which quickly approaches. Hopefully when you return to them, their eyes will be opened. The Necromancers. Are a sign of things to come. An old acquaintance of the guild has come to Cyrodiil, and they are answering his call. While I do not know for quite what purpose he has arrived, I believe the guild of mages is in great danger. Mana Marco has returned. Nearly Who the hell is that? He has established himself somewhere in the north of Cyrodiil. This is all that I know. See to it that your leader, Traven, learns this as soon as possible. I have no love for your guild, but I have no wish to see it destroyed either. Who the hell is Mana Marco? He's an old and powerful necromancer. Traven will recognize the name even if you do not. This is not something I would tell the likes of you. What? I've told you all that I know. Mana Marco has come to Cyrodiil, and I believe he means harm to your guild. Traven must know this. Even I know that some from your guild have defected to join him. What? I believe you can be trusted, as you have been attacked once already. Perhaps it is a mistake to make that assumption. <laughs> Only time will tell, I suppose. The cavern is silent once more. I would be foolish to think that this might send a message to those who would encroach on my territory. Okay. Return to your guild and prepare yourself accordingly. Oh! Stranger than usual, don't you think? Well, that's not good. This is. Oh man, they're on the inside, boys. We got some, uh, we got some people to find. Hey. This Mana Marco character sounds powerful. And I just realized. I'll, I'll what talk news about from Skingrad? I assume you've spoken to Count Hasseldor? Look at how happy this guy is. He's gonna get so sad here in a second. What? Is that possible? This is grave news indeed. I had, perhaps foolishly, believed that necromancy was all but stamped out in Cyrodiil. It seems I couldn't have been more mistaken. I shall need to consult the Council as to how to proceed with this situation. Thank you for the information. It may save many lives. 